Welcome back to Flint Creek Transport. If you remember that EB trailer I took down to the fab shop to get it fixed, the fifth wheel plate, the upper coupler, a uh, new one put in. Well, it's done and I'm gonna go down and pick it up. Today I'm gonna be running truck number 118. This is a, I think it's a 2002 Kenworth W900. 6NZ motor. This one's got the special transmission, Super 10. coming from I asked the guy they said what truck is available to go down and get the trailer they're like just go out back and pick a truck so I had I had a couple trucks to pick from the reason I picked this truck is because it's a day camp and I just feel more comfortable in a day camp I don't get to drive truck every single day so I don't know you know, back in the trailer is not a big deal. I am just OCD about being able to back right under a trailer. No issues, right? Sleeper truck just gives you, does not give you the visibility. And I always think of, what if I break something? What if I do something, you know? I don't want to get fired. So I end up taking the day cap, which this is a nice little truck second reason I wanted this truck is because it's a cat motor and I knew it would start the other trucks got Cummins you see a Cummins a Detroit and a Cummins and then a cat on the end but today I figured a blue Kenworth with a cat that's the way to go I'll give you guys just a pre-warning I'm not gonna be running the Jake brake because that where I'm going is not far away at all and this engine is still cold so sorry no jake brake on this video the guys are uh, coming in getting fuel and believe it or not guys there's still landscapers out working we're still delivering pavers we're still delivering block so they're still working Mike. Here it is, guys. Remember the pieces laying on the floor? It looks good. Cross bracing is back in. bolts in there So I didn't get a lot of time to go over that fifth wheel plate, but you can obviously see that he did a really good job on that. And I'm also gonna put in some video of him fabricating that plate. It looks like brand new. Like it looks like from the factory. So 
fantastic job. This trailer, like I said, you look down these walls, this thing is nice and straight. Really solid trailer yet. And I also had to fabricate this front end, this ladder. So this ladder actually hung down the whole way to here. And sorry, let me move the camera accordingly. But yeah, hung way down, right? And so some of our trucks don't have a long wheelbase and they would, it would have hit the sleeper, would have cleared off like this post right here. So when you're going around the corner, it would have knocked that right off that ladder hanging down. So we did a little bit of fabrication. You can see that ladder is fabricated and actually let me get my gloves on and I'm gonna put that ladder down and see how it works. So that bungee stays on. So, looks like that clips in like that. And I wonder, maybe they'll have a, they put a, put something there to hold the ladder back and against, it would be perfect. Because otherwise you can see it wants to come out. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of, fabricating on that a little just tweaking but otherwise yeah it helps it helps you see a little bit of what it did by being able to flip this ladder up Get this baby in there all right so this trailer needs a tarp on there yet and We'll be good to go. We'll be ready for the season. There's a couple other, actually a couple other small things that they're gonna do, but for the most part, it'll be ready to go. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day is a better day and there's more exciting things to do. So stay tuned. I just want to pop out show you guys here this is a load that just came in you can obviously see it's a load of palletized products uh, some wall block or something we've got the dock here this is actually one of our titan walking floor trailers You can see the Keith floor holds up very well to forklifts, to whatever we put on that thing. And the other thing is these Titan trailers are designed obviously for running forklifts on. So if you look at the cross members, they have cross members every 12 inches. So we gain a little bit of extra weight that way, but it's built very rugged. You know, if we were just hauling wood chips, I wouldn't get uh, cross members every 12 inches. You could probably go every 16 inches or every, you know, some of these light walkers, they're every 24 inches, they run plastic floors and things like that. With the variety of work that we do, uh, we like having the option of palletized. So that's why, some of the reason why I get those trailers. Good morning, guys. I'm out back today. We got uh, a little bit of snow, maybe six to eight inches, but it's mountain, about 35 degrees. I'm running my pickup in a trailer today. I'm working for the other side of the company. I gotta go get a little bit of furniture. So no big rig, just a, just a little rig today. There's been a lot of running around, uh, not getting a lot done. And actually our store, our Sensenik side is closed and the next two weeks that store shut down it's a landscape supply store so flint creek has all the offices to themselves and i am going to go out back and show you guys there's been a lot of new subscribers i'm going to show you guys the new shop out there here it is this shop is a 80 by 165 and then it's got a lean to off the side right now they are working on drainage and also getting the electric, some of that in. It's got the big concrete apron here. And then again, on the other side, there's two doors for the apron. This 
unfortunately will not be finished uh, this year it won't be finished till springtime rolls around because of the water the town doesn't want to tap tap the uh, main water line here in the winter time so it's gonna have to be done in the spring obviously we won't get CFO till when that's done so this winter we're hoping to get some heat in here and uh, do some work inside get everything ready so that come springtime we can move in here is the inside and this will be nice for parking trucks and stuff like that in when it's snowing we can still get inside and hopefully we'll get electric hooked up before too long so like I said 80 by 165 there's gonna be three service bays here there's gonna be a little office area and then two more bays off to the side for more uh, company vehicles and things like that forklifts some of the small stuff that we service this is the loading dock area so actually all this ground's got to get dug out and put around the side a bit of a mud mess and in here This is, you guys probably can't see a lot. This is the furnace area, natural gas boilers. It's unfortunate that we're not able to get in it this winter, but we're looking forward to getting into March or April, whenever we can move in to start using it. And I'm going to take you guys back to our old shop and we'll do a quick walkthrough of that. All right, let's go see what's happening in here. You guys remember this rig this is the EB trailer that they are getting ready for mulch season they're putting a tarp on it some of those things we just replaced the upper coupler you'll see earlier in this video and if you guys saw in our new shop we're not going to be having a pit instead of the pit we use gray manufacturing the lifts i'll show you those lifts so these are the lifts that we use and we're hoping to get some taller jack stands like this so we can actually lift the truck up and then set it on there this truck is in for some electrical issues this is a 2000 kenworth with a 2ws cat motor this was actually had an 86 inch bunk on it and we cut the frame down and cut the bunk off put the day cab kit on it the green truck we are working on that windshield and the crack in the structure so that's kind of a project and this truck is getting the service some new rubbers what's up guys How's it going? that's pretty much it for the shop today so the next two weeks guys I am gonna be laying a little bit low we got Christmas coming up and New Year's I'm hoping to put out maybe at least one more video before the end of the year. And guys, I still gotta show you my project, what I've been working on. I'll show you. All right, guys, this has been my project, what I've been working on, trying to find another dump truck. Uh, the joys. You know, I try to find one. I, I really want one that's pre-mission, but trying to find one that's pre-mission, I say pre-mission like pre-2008, and not a lot of miles and yet has a big box on it i'd like at least a 19 to 20 foot box not a lot of rust you know keeping that minimal and then i'm kind of picky on motors i don't really want to see 13. i'd really like to have a 475 cat you know just you know those perfect specs and it's really 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 tough but i got 
more equipment coming as well some new stuff like this dump truck it's just not something that we use a lot so there's yeah three to four months where we use it quite a bit and then another three four months where it's kind of on and off in the winter time it doesn't get a lot of use so to spend 165,000 or whatever it is for a new truck I it's not really worth it I'd rather put that money into a trailer or into another truck that we use you know year round or or can use year round um so that's my trouble I've been having right now finding a dump truck we're not really in a big push or rush to find a dump truck because we're really not going to need it till probably March sometime. So I got a little bit of time to look. Uh, that's going to be my project. So I'll keep you guys updated if we find anything. And if you find something, send me an email. But it's got to have a big box and preferably a Kenworth, preferably a cat. Preferably blue, preferably no rust, and clean for like a really good price. You know, that's how it goes. Anyway, guys, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for all the support, the comments, the subscribers. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Uh, stay safe out there and stay healthy. Peace out.